The reason the world is faced with the climate change challenge today is because we have excess carbon emissions in the atmosphere than the Earth can sequester. This excess carbon emissions has increased the average global temperature by 1 degree Celsius since the Industrial Era. In the Paris Agreement, nations agreed to hold global warming at 1.5 degrees Celsius above Earth's average temperature before the Industrial Age. However, due to industrial activities and every reliance on fossil fuels, it will be difficult to keep to that agreement. What if there was a technology that helped absorb our carbon emissions at a faster rate than we emitted it? A part of our climate change problem will be solved, right? Well, this technology already exists and it is known as the carbon capture utilization and storage technology. In this video, I'm going to be showing you what the CCUS technology is. I'm going to be explaining how it operates to create a carbon negative and carbon neutral process. And I'm going to be showing you the existing CCUS plants across the world. So if this is a technology you would like to learn more about, then keep on watching. Hey guys, it's Rara Swamari. Welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here, you're welcome. Please hit the subscribe button to join the family and turn on the notification so you'll be notified anytime I post a video. So let's get right into today's video. So what is carbon capture utilization and storage, also known as CCUS? CCUS encompasses methods and technologies used to capture CO2 from flue gas or directly from the environment, followed by recycling the captured CO2 for utilization and determining safe and permanent storage options. There are two categories of CCUS. The first um, encompasses carbon being captured on the site directly from the plant, that is capturing carbon from the flue gas of a power plant. And the second category involves capturing carbon dioxide directly from the atmosphere and this is known as direct air capture. Despite the adoption of alternative energy technologies and energy efficient systems to reduce CO2 emissions, the, the cumulative amount of CO2 already in the atmosphere needs to be reduced significantly to limit the detrimental effects of climate change. Therefore, CCUS technology needs to be implemented. In this video, we'll be focusing more on the direct air capture technology that captures CO2 directly from the atmosphere. When you think about this, you realize that this is the same work done by trees. So what advantage does the direct air capture have over our natural forest? There are two main advantages, one in terms of size and the other one in terms of land use. Comparing the direct air capture technology to the Amazon rainforest, the Amazon is capable of capturing 1.6 billion tons of CO2 each year. The land area required by a direct air capture plant to capture the same amount of CO2 is about 500 times smaller. The second advantage is land use. The direct air capture plant do not require arable land to be built on therefore eliminating competition with farmland or food and no real trees has to be cut down. How exactly does the direct air capture technology capture CO2 directly from the atmosphere? It uses two different approaches, the liquid-based approach and the solid-based approach. The liquid-based approach uses CO2 grabbing chemicals dissolved in the water while the solid-based approach uses solid materials with CO2 grabbing chemicals. In the liquid-based approach, an equipment known as the air contactor is used as shown on the screen. The air contactor is filled with high surface area packing materials and pumps are used to distribute the liquid across this packing material. The fans are seen in front of the air contactor is used to bubble air through the liquid. The CO2 in the air is separated by the liquid by reacting with the really strong binding CO2 molecules in the solution. The CO2 is then recovered from the solution by recycling it through it, thereby giving rise to high purity CO2. The recovered CO2 can then be stored permanently on the ground in geological formations giving rise to a carbon negative process as the CO2 has been returned to where 
it came from. However, there is no strong incentive for this to be done because policies such as carbon pricing are yet to be widely accepted. Therefore, captured carbon are usually sold in the carbon market. This is where utilization comes in. The captured carbon can be converted into liquid fuels. It can be supplied to greenhouses as fertilizers for their plants. It can be sold to food and beverage companies. And it can also be used to manufacture products such as plastic and synthetic gravel. This gives rise to a carbon neutral process as no new CO2 is being released into the atmosphere while manufacturing these products. So now let's look at companies already commercializing the direct air capture technology. The first on my list is Carbon Engineering based out of Canada. Carbon Engineering uses a liquid based approach for separation combined with burning super abundant cheap natural gas to supply the heat required. They have a clever approach that enables them to co-capture the CO2 from the air and the CO2 that they generate from burning the natural gas. So by doing this, they offset excess pollution and they reduce costs. One carbon engineering plant is said to do the work of 40 million trees. The company Carbon Engineering is backed by Bill Gates as well as the oil giants Chevron, BHP and Occidental Petroleum. The next on the list is Climeworks, which is a Switzerland-based company, and Global Thermostat, which is a US-based company. They both use the solid-based approach for carbon capture. Climeworks uses heat from the earth, which is also known as geothermal, or even excess steam from other industrial processes to cut down on pollution and costs. Global Thermostat focuses on the heat required and the speed in which it moves through the material so that they are able to release and produce the captured CO2 at a really fast rate, which allows them to have a more compact design and overall cheaper cost. Although I do not consider the direct air capture as a silver bullet to climate change, as there is no silver bullet to solving the climate change problem, but it will really go a long way to help reduce the amount of CO2 that is already in the atmosphere. However, this technology still faces economic limitation. If favorable regulations, subsidies, and taxes on carbon are adopted, it will help incentivize the permanent storage of captured CO2 underground, thereby creating a negative emission process. So what do you guys think about this technology? Do you think we should just stick to trees and leave the direct air capture out of it? Do you think carbon pricing should be adopted to help this technology strive? Are there some disadvantages of this technology that I forgot to highlight? Please um, leave me some comments in the comment section so I can also learn from you. And uh, if you're not yet subscribed, please subscribe to the channel. If you love this video, give it a thumbs up. And remember to turn on the notification bell so that you'll be notified any time I post a video. Thank you for watching and until next time, live consciously and I'll see you in my next video.